I don't know if you can hear it over there, beyond those trees over there. There's a football game going on. You can hear the lone mom. You ever seen those like when you go to see a football game? Especially like high school games. That screaming where you can hear her, probably like 200 yards away. She's quite loud. But it's so cool just to sit here on an evening ride and hear like the sounds of the people around you. The sounds of all the things that are in our life. And it's just, that brings back happy memories for me because I actually uh, played football when I was in uh, high school. And I think back now, like all my good friends um, that I played football with, and this was 30 plus years ago. I mean, I'm no spring chicken by any means. But um, I'm still friends with those guys. I mean, we talk, we go on vacations together. And we haven't gone in a couple years, but I consider them my best friends. And those are great times, you know, great times when you can like ride and hear those noises of the world around you. Ooh, that sun is bright. Sunset rides are the best, absolute best. And this is kind of a crazy place. I had to drop off a package here. So in the middle of nowhere in this town by me, taking some back roads. But I've actually kind of had a, I don't know about you guys, and this isn't gonna be a video about getting on your bike and wind therapy and all that stuff. And it's more like, I've had like a really, really rough month. And when I say rough, not, I mean, it's just like all these things, it's like Murphy's Law, all these things that can happen seems to have happened to me. And I talked about this on a, our live stream a couple weeks back, uh, our Sunday night fireside chat live stream. There's a shameless plug right there about like <laughs> this month from hell that I had. And you know, and there's no particular order but like my basement completely flooded. So I had to deal with all that shit and I'm still actually dealing with it now um, that I'm having to deal with all the insurance cover. I mean, it's gonna be covered, but my basement flooded. Uh, let's see what else. I almost cut my uh, pinky finger off doing a chainsaw accident. That was fun. I even had a glove on and then at the time when I did this, uh, I had just sharpened the chain, so it was like literally a minute after that, and it kicked back on me and sliced my glove right open and uh, had to get four stitches. Then, on top of that, I got COVID. And then on top of that, my weed eater broke. And then my camera. So I was on a trip, and then my, my Cena camera, the camera button actually broke. And of course, you know what this means. It happens after the warranty just expired three weeks before, so I can't even get a new one. Uh, because it was passed, I think they got a two-year warranty on those Cenas, go figure. Uh, work issues, man. I mean, just like work has been absolutely insane. A lot of personal stuff going on on top of that with family people having health issues. And it all happened in about, I'd say, yeah, about five weeks all this happened. It was just insane the amount of stuff that gets thrown your way. And then I try to be the kind of guy I am. I'm a very optimistic kind of guy. I try to look at a glass half full type guy. I don't focus on like the negative because what's the point? If you're going to, that's just gonna make it worse. You know, I always, I, you know, I, I try to surround myself with good people. I try to surround myself with people that think like that because unfortunately there's people out there that don't have that mindset where they think the worst in everything and I can't stand that. But sometimes, honestly, it takes its toll on you. I mean, when all these things that are going on in the world, and then you have all these things happen to you just time after time after time, and again and again and again. I mean, even with somebody like me where I could say, I'm, I'm a pretty positive dude, man, that took its toll on me. And even riding. So when I said earlier, this isn't gonna be about gotta get on a bike and make you feel better. And normally that is the case. Normally if like I want to get away, if I just want to clear my head and get rid of all those like negative vibes that are happy to my way, I'd get on a bike and I would do that. But I got to a point when all this stuff was happening to me where I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling getting on a bike because I was just so freaking bummed out about everything that's happened to me. And normally that's never the case. But saying that, after I started feeling that way, I started 
you know, questioning myself and the type of guy I am, I try to evolve like at work and anything. I try to learn from my mistakes, whether it be, you know, learning different things that I might have made a mistake on at work or even at personal life, anything, I try to improve upon it. And that's what I did. I, you know, I started thinking to myself why I felt like I was feeling sorry for myself, like even not getting on the ride, because normally when I ride, everything to me is centered. And if for me to feel that riding a bike or riding a motorcycle, getting on this thing and feeling the rumble, feeling that freedom, feeling that air on your face, even though I have a full face helmet on and I really can't feel it right now because my shield's down. But let me open it up. Now I can feel it. <laughs> I decided, why am I even thinking like this? I need to, you know, buck it up and I need to say I can do it. Now, saying that, it could be hard. It could be hard. Somebody like me that, you know, I feel pretty strong, optimistic kind of mentality. What happens when you do get overrun? What happens when all these things happen to you and you're just not feeling it? And you know what? I decided that I'm not going to let it win. I'm not. I'm going to sit here and focus on the good things. I'm going to focus on what I can do better. And I'm going to focus on th things that control what you can control. And I can't control my basement flooding. and I can't control I got COVID. I can't control that my weed eater freaking broke or my camera broke. I was getting upset about all these little things instead of celebrating like little small wins. So during this whole time, I actually went out to Tennessee and that was helpful. Even though I wasn't feeling it 100%, once I got back, even though I was exhausted and had a good time, spent some time with friends, I realized what the hell was I thinking? Why was I getting bummed out over things I really couldn't control? And this is me more sharing stories with you guys, more just talking in general, that when things look down, uh, don't let it get you. You know, I mean, it's easier said than done for some people. I mean, I have anxiety. <laughs> A lot of people have anxiety. I don't let it win. I control what I can control, and I think positive thoughts, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. So even though sometimes uh you know i get a bunch of curveballs and sliders or knuckleballs however you want to use sports euphemisms uh, i'm going to stand up to the plate and then i'm going to swing and hopefully i hit a home run oh that was such a lame sports reference but hey you know what i tried i'm just trying to relate it back and and now recently i'm back i'm back feeling it i'm back enjoying my street glide special here i'm enjoying my pan america special I'm enjoying life that says no matter what happens, I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna think happy thoughts because like that football game in the beginning, man, when you ride by that and you hear that crazy Karen yelling and you know screaming about her son making a touchdown or something, that's what it's all about, man. That's enjoying life and that's what I'm planning on doing. So hopefully this video resonates with somebody that if sometimes things are bad, just take a step back and realize no matter what. Uh, it could be a lot worse. Second, don't let it win. Don't let it win. Try to enjoy life to the fullest, and then you'll succeed. You'll succeed for sure. All right, guys, now get out there and ride like I'm doing right now, focusing on the good things. <laughs> be well, and I'll talk to you guys soon.